Hello everyone, I am Omar from Radiocraft. In the first video of this series, we showed you how to unbox a RIM development kit and create a simple RIM network to show that the three boards are connected to each other. In this second video, we will show you how to configure a RIM network node using three EC example applications which are provided by Radiocraft in the RIM SDK. An EC application is always running on the module to tailor the module's behavior to the customer's unique requirements. In its simplest form, the EC application is just configuring the radio network, the module's hardware interfaces, and defines when to read and write to those interfaces. We will talk more about EC in upcoming videos. Please note that RIM works on both Windows and Linux, mostly in the same way. However, there are a few minor differences which will be explained in a special video for Linux. To get your SDK, visit this web page and download it. Unzip it then you're ready to go. Now that you have downloaded the SDK, you will need to install a few extra tools which will be used to configure a RIM node. First, install the GNU Embedded Toolchain for ARM, which is the compiler you will be using. You can easily get it by following this link. Make sure to choose the 2018 Q2 version. Second, download a tool called Make which you can get by following this link. The make tool is used to automate the building process for software and generate executables. And now, let's explore the RIM SDK. In the docs folder, you will find the RIM APIs reference manual describing the APIs used. The framework folder you can find the tools that you need to compile and upload your EC application to the boards. In addition, in the subfolder called Platform, you can also find the platform images for the RIM nodes. Lastly, in the EC Applications folder, you can find various example EC applications that you can use for demonstration purposes and to test the capabilities of RIM. For further details, please have a look at the RIM SDK Quick Start and RIM SDK user manual documents. Now we will explain the naming structure of the examples. For instance, open the example sensor board folder. You will find two folders, source and output. Source folder contains the codes for the three EC applications, one for each node. Note how each example is named differently according to the node it's designed for. The first part of the name is a description of the EC example after it is the node configuration in the network, and lastly is the board to which you should upload this EC application to. Then you can see the compile and upload batch file, which when you double click it, it compiles the EC examples we just saw in the source folder and generates the output in the output folder. The compile and upload.sh file is for Linux and the make file is used if you want to manually compile applications. We will cover that in another video. Okay, so now let's put this into practice and actually compile and upload one of the example EC applications. First, let's start by connecting the three boards and noting the COM ports they are connected to. Now we pick an example EC application, the local sensors for instance. To compile and upload your EC application, Go to the source folder where you will find the EC applications for the three node types. As you can see, in the local sensors example, there are three different EC applications that can be uploaded to the sensor board. Let's choose the temperature and humidity application for this example. Copy the source code files and paste them in the designated places in the My App folder. The reason why we do this is that in case you want to change some parameters in the EC application code, then you do it in the My App folder. This will ensure that the original version remains without modifications, in case you need it unchanged in the future. Now you just double click the compile and upload batch file.
you will be prompted to enter the COM port for the board you want the EC application to be uploaded to. When you get this message, just reset the board and that's it. Now, the three different EC applications have been compiled into three different text files and uploaded to the boards. And there you go, your boards are now configured to run the sensor board EC application. To check that the EC application is actually up and running and that connection between leaf node and border router is established, you can view the data packets that the border router is receiving. To do this, we need to use a terminal emulator program like PuTTY, TerraTerm, Yacht or similar. In this example, we use PuTTY. Set connection type to serial, baud rate to 115200, and connect. Once connected with the terminal emulator program, you will see temperature and humidity sensor readings in the PuTTY window. Thank you for watching our video snippet series on how to get started with RIM. In this video, we showed you the various parts of a RIM SDK, we explained the structure, and we demonstrated how to download a simple EC application from the examples included in the RIM SDK. As the next step on how to get started with RIM, we will show you how to create your own EC application by using an example as a reference. So stay tuned. Thank you for choosing RIM and RedioCraft, and we hope you have a great day. See you soon.